welcome to the blue corner my name is dennis and what's this another update video this fast after the last one yes um i've been playing around with the idea of going back to a more weekly schedule of doing these update videos instead of the monthly videos i returned to youtube just a little over a year ago now where I said I was tired of making videos before the break and I didn't get the views, comments and likes I would have liked. I've talked about that quite a few times in the last year I've been back. So now that I'm back, I'm starting to get more subs. Still not the views, likes, blah, blah, blah. You've heard all this before. <laughs> uh, I'm... I want to go back to the more weekly schedule because then I can talk a little bit more about the movies and not just go, I got this, I got this, I got this, and still not make too long a video. Plus, I can get the movies I picked up into the collection faster. I don't need to have them laying on a shelf for the full month before I can show them off in a video. So, yeah for the time being at least if i have five or more pickups during a week there will be a video sometime during sunday depending on where in the world you are <laughs> so hopefully that makes sense for you guys if not ask down below if there's more you want to know not that it's that important if there's a video, there's a video. So with that out of the way, I got tiles to show off. I don't have all September tiles in yet. Some hasn't even shipped yet. And granted, we're still in September. So I do have a good handful of tiles. So I'll split them into two. This video and one I'll record straight after. That'll be out next Sunday. So with that, there's going to be at least two videos and some of the other titles can come in in between and I can manage to watch some of them and have a video on the third Sunday. <laughs> yeah, let's just show off the titles I got. I got more Disney titles. It's I'm in a Disney mood right now so i'm already well on my way to getting all the disney titles that i can find still having trouble with a few of them but hopefully eventually so number one in the disney classic line i got snow white and the seven dwarfs classic number two i got pinocchio classic <laughs> maybe that's why they're in the classic line number three fantasia number 12 skipping right over six and eleven i i've already mentioned that some of the numbers only have a dvd release and that's the case with six to eleven and uh, there's two numbers i'm still missing a little further up one is Vinnie de Pooh there is I know that I've seen the blu-ray so I know it's out there but apparently long out of print and rather hard to find so I don't know when if I'll get that one and then apparently the great mouse detective or something along those lines I haven't been able to find a Danish blu-ray for that so I don't know if it's out there or not. But yeah, I'm pretty close to at least having all the numbers I can. So yeah, number 12, Cinderella. And this is actually a re-release that they released recently. Uh, the original Danish release actually had a Danish title on the cover. But for some reason, they've started to re-release some of them. Same disc and everything. But just with the original title. I 
I, I don't mind that at all. I do prefer having the original titles whenever possible, but I don't mind it nearly as much on animated stuff. So, yeah, Cinderella. Number 18, The Sword and the Stone. Yeah, old school Disney, that's for sure. <laughs> Number 23, The Rescuers. Now, in my last update video, I did talk about the sequel and how much it meant to me growing up. This one didn't. I haven't seen this nearly as much as the second one. So I am actually curious to go back to this one. And I, I, di I did watch the second one just the other day and completely forgot to log it on Letterboxd now that I'm thinking of it. So I, I do actually want to go back and rewatch this one too. So hopefully, eventually, along with Rescuers 2, another movie that I grew up absolutely loving and one I really want to go back to again too. Number 27, Oliver and Company. I, is that Oliver and Company? Yeah, that is the original title too. Another one I really remember enjoying and the it's fun seeing the 2D animation on the cover on these titles, knowing that's not how they do it anymore. <laughs> Number 30, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Number 38, Fantasia 2000. I don't remember the Fantasia movies all that well, so maybe I do need to go back to those. Number 39, Emperor's New Groove. Number 41, Lilo and Stitch. Number 44, uh, what is the original title here? Home on the Range. Yeah, I don't even know if I've seen that one. Number 57, Encanto. Actually, some of the newer titles here that's only been out or out from the last couple of years have actually been harder to find than the older ones. I, I don't know if the, they are a limited print run or whatnot, but Encanto was or is one that I actually bought brand new um, and not many sites had it at all. So. I, I don't know. I enjoyed in Kanto. Number 58. And quite possibly the newest one so far. I, I do believe from the classic line at least. Strange World. Now I've seen quite a lot of hate online for this one. Woke bullshit. <laughs> either against it or for it I'd, that's not here nor there but I, I actually really enjoyed this one I thought this was a fun little movie and I have stated that I don't need the Disney movies in 4k but I do believe th this could actually be one that really popped as a 4k release granted we don't have the 4k release in Denmark so I'm not gonna rush out and look for it <laughs> so that's the ones from the classic line with numbers and with that like i said there's only a few i'm missing the dvd ones that don't have a blu-ray i probably won't get and then the two titles i'm gonna have to be lucky to find i guess who knows but there's still some that doesn't have a number and the first one is Dinosaur. And I actually do believe in other countries this is a numbered classic title. I, I, I could be wrong, but here in Denmark it's not for whatever reason. So, yeah. And I, I remember really enjoying this one. This, from the having this banner it's an early blu-ray release <laughs> so i know i i have checked the numbers 
bought a classic line here in Denmark, and it is it's not in there anywhere. But this this could have easily been re-released later with a number. But I guess they didn't do that. Then one of the titles that apparently are rather hard to find. There's a bunch of lesser well not lesser known but lesser known sequel titles <laughs> i'm gonna go with that but yeah there's there's a bunch of lesser known sequel titles that do have blu-rays but apparently again long out of print and not easy to find but i did find the fox and the hound too now there's lion king 2 and 3 there's Pocahontas 2 uh, is there a Hunchback of Notre Dame 2 I do believe there is there's Atlantis 2 uh, Emperor's New Groove 2 and a bunch of lesser known sequel titles that I, I, can, I can find pictures of the Blu-rays but I just can't find the Blu-rays themselves anywhere so yeah I don't know but I did find the Fox and the Hound not numbered so yeah I don't, I don't know if I'll ever get those titles but speaking of Lion King 2 I did find Lion King 2 the third one nowhere to be found so yeah hopefully eventually and then the last one of the Disney titles one that I really don't get doesn't have a number Raya and the Last Dragon I I really enjoyed this one this might have been my or this is probably my favorite Disney title for or from the last few years I thought this was really good and much like Strange World would probably really pop on 4k but I I don't know why there's no spine number on that one so yeah that's the Disney titles and then I just got a small stack of some catalog titles so first I found Fantastic Four another one I had on Steelbook that I saw so had to find it on Emory apparently yet well I guess being a Fox title this is out of print now and I, I've been having a hard time finding this out there and I, I just got lucky fi found it used so yeah the, the second one I can find brand new in stores still but the first one here rather hard to find so thankfully now I do have it <laughs> I also found Boyka Undisputed 4 uh, technically I already had this one in a triple feature pack but I've been getting those movies from that feature or triple feature pack just in single editions it, it had Bloodfather the nice guys and Boyka it's a really weird combo but it it's three movies released from the same company here in Denmark so I guess they figured put them together like that I wanted the separate editions and now I do have it and of course Scott Atkins has to be in the collection I found Small Town Killers a Danish movie actually recorded not that far from where I'm living less than an hour away so it's this is a fun little movie uh, these two men are married to these two women and they hire a hitman to kill the wives but the wives discovered this and tried to reverse the plan on the men and chaos exudes <laughs> it's a fun little danish comedy and now it's in the collection daylight stallone underrated stallone movie another one i've had in the collection before i sold a lot of movies in the one year span from July 2021 to my return to YouTube in July 2022 and I'm assuming this was one of them now I have it back 
now I put my movies or the catalog tiles in sleeves and folders so I can re-get some of the stuff I had before and daylight was one of them. So underrated Stallone movie that people aren't really giving the love it deserves in my mind. I actually really enjoyed this one. It is a natural disaster movie. Getting trapped in a tunnel. I wouldn't want to try that. <laughs> but yeah, Daylight. Good Stallone movie. Next, from Eureka 1, I've been waiting for a official Blu-ray release for, for quite some time. Hong Kong Legends did put it out on Blu-ray years ago. Long out of print. Fetches good money on eBay. When the few cases cases that it does pop up. Probably not anymore now, but who knows. And that is C Shoots Straight. Classic Hong Kong Girls With Guns movie. I have a blast with this one. It's just such a fun movie. And that's a good cast, of course. You get Samo Hong included in it. Another reason I want it. And it's just... It, it's a fun ride. It, there's no other way to explain this. And maybe Hollywood should have paid more attention to Hong Kong cinema. And if they had been, maybe Jennifer Lawrence wouldn't have been the first American action star. Right? <laughs> yeah, great action movie. If Hong Kong cinema is for you, then that's the movie to get. And finally, one 4K release for this edition. American made. Tom Cruise. I've said it before. I guess I'm collect low key collecting Tom Cruise 4K movies. And I did pick up some of the Disney titles in the store. I've talked the used store. I've talked about quite a bit. And I picked up a stack of those. And the owner told me to okay go in and find another movie and. I looked through, the, they don't have a massive 4K collection in there to sell, so this was one I didn't have, and I just went with that one. Not my, not in my top 10 Tom Cruise favorite movies, but I, like I said, low-key collect <laughs> Tom Cruise 4K movies, and I didn't I didn't want to go through all the movies they had again to find a separate title or a different title. So I went with American Made. So yeah, that's it for this week. I'm hoping you'll return next week. So until then, please do hit the like button. And thanks for watching. Peace out.